What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're doing well and I hope everything is wonderful in your world right now. Today I have for you a video that I was tagged to do by my good friend Marlo Keenan. Hi Marlo! And that is the perfect subscriber tag. And I love this. It really made me think about myself and my behavior here on YouTube and kind of what my expectations are in comparison to people who subscribe to my channel. So there are 13 questions. I'm going to go through and answer these for you. And it's about what a perfect subscriber I am. And I am a pretty good subscriber, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of opinion intermingled in all the answers to these questions. So, um, buckle up and get ready for lots of uh, Miss Thang. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the questions. Number one, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel video or try a few videos first? I used to be that person that just subscribed right away. Like, subscribe right away and I in general do automatically like someone or see that they're not my cup of tea, but Lately, because my subscriber list got out of hand where I couldn't keep up with notifications, couldn't keep up with the emails that I was getting when people were uploading, that I did go through and purge my subscriber list to people that I know I needed to give a little bit more attention to to see if they were my cup of tea and getting rid of people that I think I just subscribed to because they subscribed to me and then there was never a relationship that formed. and. And I also went through and removed a lot from my subscriber list that I knew their content was not something that I was interested in. I felt like my list was congested with a bunch of channels that I didn't watch and it kept me from seeing the channels that I did want to watch in my notifications and such. And so for now, I used to subscribe right away. Now I do want to see a few videos. And ordinarily, when I find someone that I think I like, I will go through and watch two or three videos and decide if I want to subscribe at that time. There are channels that I subscribe to right away because I know they're a new YouTuber and I want to give them some support to help them get started. And maybe later on I find out they're not my cup of tea and I've used that expression like six times now. But maybe later on I find out that I don't have much interest in their channel and I will you know stop watching um, you know there's just so many things available you can't watch everything and when you're a youtuber and you're spending so much of your time filming and editing even more so it's even more difficult to be a YouTube consumer whenever you're being a YouTube creator and contributor Number two, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? I think in the past it has, but now I know what I like and I know what I enjoy watching and so I kind of can make a judgment on that pretty quickly into watching somebody's video if I'm watching someone new. Um, so I don't really need them to remind me. I do it in every video. It's something that, you know, many people who are YouTube helpers, people who are telling you how to grow your channel, how to retain subscribers, suggest that you always remind them to do what you want them to do, which is to subscribe and stick around a while. So I do that, but I don't know that that ever sways me. It's not like I'm sitting there watching going, and oh, no, 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 I enjoy this video. This is so fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to subscribe. So now that you said it, I'll subscribe. But I don't know. It's something that I include in my videos just because if someone does forget, maybe it does remind them to subscribe. Number three, how many channels do you have notification, the notification bell turned on for? And I honestly cut a list of about a thousand down to about a list of 375 or so and those 375 I do have notification bells turned on for because I want to know that they've uploaded. Can I watch every one of those? No, of course not but I want to know when they've uploaded and I do try to make my rounds among those channels and give everybody some love whenever I have the time to do it. Number four, what or do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I would 
never in my life have enough time to watch everyone in my subscription feed. Like I just said, I do kind of go in a cycle and go through. Now that my list is more manageable, I can see myself just going through on kind of a cycle. I'm very methodical in the way that I do things in life in general and especially on YouTube. Just go and make sure I go by and, and give these people some love every now and then. And so, no, obviously I do not watch all of them. I do watch all of my favorites, which there are questions coming up about that, so I won't go far into it. Um, number six, what kind of commenter are you? Uh, just my commenting behavior is a byproduct of what I prefer from people who are watching me. When someone watches my video, I want them, I want to know that they've been there. I want to know what they thought of the content. And I think a lot of times people think that coming to your channel and clicking on it and leaving a comment and oftentimes comments that reveal to you that they didn't even watch your video. It's like I would rather someone not come at all than to come to my video, click on it, leave a comment that is an indication that they didn't watch my video because for instance I'm doing a tag video right now and I may get a comment that says beautiful look Sherry great job when what I'm doing is doing a tag and not doing a makeup look and so that shows me that they didn't watch my video I don't know that that's beneficial to me because that doesn't give you watch time that doesn't give you engagement time that that doesn't benefit your channel much and don't get me wrong I appreciate that someone cares enough about me and my channel that they would come and do that but at the same time it really doesn't benefit my channel it actually maybe causes it to go in the wrong direction I don't know what maybe stagnates my channel a little bit because if I have a 30 minute video a 15 minute video and somebody clicks in for 30 seconds that shows that they're not engaging and that does affect my uh, suggestion rate in the algorithm and such so that being said, again, I do appreciate that someone takes the time to do that, but when a comment is thoughtful and I can tell that they're answering questions that I've asked in a video um, or they make comments about things that I said or showed or how I did something and it's a very good indication that they watched the entire video, those are the comments that I appreciate. So those are the kind of comments that I give. I am a mask commenter and I like to comment as I'm watching a video so that I'm answering the questions that they asked. I'm commenting on products that they showed. I'm commenting on on a look that they created and I go through and you'll probably get three or four comments from me in a long video because I want you to know that I watched it and I want to give you feedback because that's the kind of commenting that I like. That's the kind of commenting that I give and I attempt to comment on every video that I watch. The only time I don't is when I watch it on my TV which I am doing more and more as I'm getting ready in the morning uh, when I'm laying down to take a nap I'll throw on some YouTube videos and I do give them a like but I'm not able to comment when it's on my television and so do I remember to go back and comment sometimes but not always. Number seven, do you skip ads or watch? Just based on the fact that I just told you that I don't have very much time to watch, I don't have time to watch ads. And do I want people to click on mine? Of course I do because that's an AdSense thing and that you know generates revenue for me ultimately, um, eventually, hopefully, someday. Um, giving me back some money from YouTube to be able to invest back into my channel but I understand why people don't and I don't because I very rarely have time to sit through an ad whenever I really just want to get to the content. Number eight, do you speed up your videos? Very often I do and not for the sake of you're talking too slow, your video is too long, but for the sake of I have 30 minutes and if I speed you up I can watch five videos but if I watch you on regular speed I can watch two. So just for the sake of being able to get to more videos, yes I do speed them up often if I can speed them up and still understand what they're saying. That's why I like that there's speed designations because you can <laughs> kind of modify it or adjust it to how fast it needs to be in order for you to still understand that person. If they're a quick talker, sometimes you can't speed it up without distorting it to the point of not being able to hear what they say and ultimately that's what you're trying to do. 
Um, number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Absolutely. If there's a if there is a product that I'm interested in, I will go into the info box and look and see if they have an affiliate link or look if see if they have like a magically or whatever that's called. One of those links that when you click on it, they get a small commission if you buy it. Um, if I love a YouTuber, I want to do everything I can do to support them and their channel because I want them to keep going because I enjoy their com their content. And so, for instance, if I'm watching Emily Noel, which you know I always do, um, and she mentions a product, I'm not just going to go directly to that place. I'm going to go down and click from her link because I know it's going to benefit her. And since she's one of my favorites, of course I'm going to click on that. Obviously, affiliate links um, offer you some kind of discount most of the time so if you're going to buy a product anyway why wouldn't you use an affiliate discount and get yourself some coin some extra coin back right uh, number 10 what's your preference when it comes to video length your sweet spot I know there are some people that just absolutely despise long videos for people that I love to watch and I enjoy their personality and I love their helpful content or just their content period I love long videos I love to make long videos I love to I don't love to edit long videos but I love to watch long videos for instance coffee break with Danny um, on Nook and even Jacqueline Hill and different people that I've loved forever that I continue to watch when I love their content I don't want and Emily Noel of course I don't want the video to end because I'm enjoying it so much so when it's longer I'm happy like for instance on Saturday mornings Emily Noel almost always posts a video and usually it's between 25 and 30 minutes and I love that because I wake up on Saturday morning get my coffee and watch Emily Noel and it's just part of my my pattern part of my schedule of how I do things on Saturday mornings and whenever it's not there I feel disappointed but the longer it is the better honestly and my sweet spot I would say is probably between 15 and 25 minutes somewhere in there when it starts getting 35 40 45 minutes unless it's a specific video that lends to that kind of link that would keep me engaged for that long between 15 and 25 minutes is my sweet spot Number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? If I watch a video, I thumbs it up. For the most part, I I always do. Even when I'm watching it on the television, I still thumbs it up. I want to benefit the person that has taken the time. Again, this is a byproduct of being a creator and knowing that time and energy and effort and perseverance and all of the things that it takes to have regular content on YouTube. I appreciate in that person because I know what time and energy and just dedication it takes to continue to do this day in and day out. I'm going to give them in the least a thumbs up and a comment. Every time. <laughs> every time. Uh, every time a thumbs up and almost every time a comment. It says, do you ever thumbs down a video? I have in the past. I don't in general. The only time I really thumbs down a video is if somebody's being very hateful and ugly. Somebody is being unkind to another human being who doesn't deserve it. Or he, even if they do deserve it, I don't think that YouTube is the place to air dirty laundry. I don't think that YouTube is the place to bully or dog someone out. I don't think that's the place for it. Um, there's been a couple different times when, and, and I, it's not that I never say a curse word in my life, but whenever there is a video that is, that's all it is in the first 30 seconds, you hear the F word 20 times and it's so abrasive, um, and just foul that it makes me feel uncomfortable, makes me feel some kind of way about it, then that would probably get a thumbs down from me. Somebody being hateful and ugly, someone being just super vulgar. Um, those are the kind of things that would thumbs down and the reason is I'm a teacher you know I'm a mother I'm a grandmother if, if my granddaughter was watching a video like that I would not like the influence it would have on her and I know that kids watch YouTube my students watch YouTube that's the reason my my channel is is extraordinarily clean in that regard because I don't want to be that kind of influence on a young person and so if there's something I've seen people super drunk super high on various things and I think that's a terrible message to send to young people who are watching and so 
that that would get a thumbs down from me anything that I would think would be influential in a negative way to a child or something that just makes me cringe to watch if it makes me cringe to watch then I may thumbs it down even then I feel guilty for doing it but I feel like it's something that warrants a thumbs down number 13 and the last question do you share other youtubers videos on your social medias <laughs> yes I do I I definitely I am pretty sure I skipped I skipped a, a question I did I'll go back to it because I'm like I remember one in particular I really wanted to answer and I skipped it um, number 13 again though do you share other youtubers videos on your social medias yes when there's something that I really like I will share it if there's a person that I'm trying to support that is just getting started or someone who has their growth has stat has become stagnant and they're stuck and I just really want to give them a leg up I do share it I don't know how many people go from my recommendations and watch that person but it's the least I can do to try to to give someone else a hand up um, my friends and people who I interact with obviously I'm wanting to help them grow and so I always share their videos I have a beauty group on YouTube I have a beauty group on Facebook rather that um, I use to announce my videos and whenever people join that group I always say you know put your stuff on there let people know that you've got videos out it may get you a couple more clicks you never know so I do my best to share videos that I think and also if I just say this is a beautiful look go look at this or this is excellent information go watch this and just for the sake of the beauty community that I have on my Facebook group and just in general um, I want to give them information about really good videos to go check out just as a recommendation so yes okay back to ch to number five that I missed of course I'm gonna skip my favorite question uh, it says do you watch every video that's not it number five is how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are and my closest friends of course my closest friends I am gonna watch every one of their videos as soon as it goes up no matter what but despite all the trouble that he has or has had I really still enjoy watching Manny MUA I love watching Jeffree Star videos I do which is weird I love Shane Dawson which that's a very new thing that I kind of went to because of Raw Beauty Christie she's another I will never miss one of her videos I love Coffee Break with Danny another Saturday morning person she has a vlog almost every Saturday and after no Emily Noel I watch Coffee Break with Danny I watch her while I am doing other things filling my medicine planners doing some typing work and it's a long video but the longer her vlogs the better and let me think I love watching on Nook because she's an incredible makeup artist same thing with Jacqueline I love watching Jacqueline Hill videos I don't these are people that I do not miss and they are people that I have watched for years and years and obviously Emily Noel obviously obviously because she's my favorite she's been my favorite for forever um, the other people just to give a mention to you I really like that girl Shay I really like that's my Ray Ray I love uh, Carly Bible I really like Nicole Guerrero a lot of people that I will never miss a video from uh, upload very infrequently so it doesn't infringe on my time much like Jaclyn Hill it's like every few weeks or once a month Carly Bible every two or three months Nicole Guerrero every two or three months um, there are a lot of others that I could mention but yes there are people that I just don't miss their videos I watch them every time because I really enjoy their content and there are other people that are kind of creeping into that I have recently made a concerted effort to very much check into people that used to be people that I watched every day that I just kind of lost and I'm just gonna go on a little rant here I'm just gonna get on my soapbox but uh, YouTube has made me lose a lot of people I just 
whenever you're watching so many people and you're creating content it is so easy to lose people and so I just made an effort to go back to people that I used to talk to all the time people I used to watch all the time went back made a comment on their videos said hey because I missed them and I don't want to miss everything that they're doing and even if I can't go to their channel every day I want to make my rounds with them I want them to be in my rounds and the weirdest part is when I went and purged my list those people were not in my list and when I I went directly to their channel I was subscribed to them and my notification bell was checked also another thing that I noticed is I wasn't getting notifications for coffee break with Danny or Emily Noel and so I went and clicked on the bell again the bill the bell was unchecked or unclicked and every time I go there the bell is unclicked why is that why are people that I'm subscribed to why am I not getting notifications even though I have the bell how come I'm having to re repeatedly click the bell? You know, and I've noticed that Eat Coffee Break with Danny mentioned it. I think Emily Noel has mentioned it. A lot of people have mentioned, please, another person I like is Lip Gloss Leslie. Love Lip Gloss Leslie. I I've noticed a lot of people saying that their feed is they're not showing up in people's feeds even though they're subscribed to them. Another person is Colleen Ballinger, Miranda Sings. I love the Ballinger family. I love to watch everything from Colleen and from Miranda Sings and from um, her brother's channel as well. I just have felt, I fell in love with their family and I just feel like I'm so excited to, to watch everything. Like Colleen just had a baby and her sister-in-law Jessica is pregnant again and they have these beautiful kids that are so cute and I just really enjoy that. Um, Red Wine and Blue Mom is another person that I watch all the time. It's just, I, I could go on and on and I'm going to stop because this is a long video. It's going to be in my sweet spot probably though. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you enjoyed hearing my answers. Thank you, Marlo, for tagging me because I love videos like this that are just kind of outside of the box but really give me a chance to express myself. I love these. And so I am going to tag three people. I'm going to tag Courtney KH. I'm going to tag Shannon Moody. And I'm going to tag Krista B. So I would love for you guys to do this video tag and I'm going to put the questions down in the comments, not the comments. I am going to put the questions down in the info box for you guys, but I can't wait to hear what your answers are. And thank you so much for watching me, you guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for hanging in there with me as I'm super sporadic and weird with my content right now because I'm at the end of my school year and it's been a crazy time and I'm doing my best to keep up. I just can't give myself a break even though I should probably take a break right now I can't make myself do it I just can't I have too many ideas floating around in my head that I need to create and express so anyways again thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time take care and God bless bye guys What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> While I'm doing other things, filling my medicine. I watch her while I'm... I really enjoy... <clears throat>